Hello learners. In this video, I will be discussing about blotting techniques. Now the question is, what is blotting technique? The blotting technique is a process whereby the DNA, RNA or the protein are being blotted over, are being transferred on a blotting paper. They are being transferred, either of them, they are being transferred on blotting paper. for the purpose of detection and further study. We have accordingly southern blotting for DNA, northern blotting for RNA, western blotting for proteins and I will be discussing about fourth blotting, southern western blotting technique also in this video which is meant for DNA protein interaction. So first of all talking to you about southern blotting technique which is meant for DNA. So there are four blotting techniques which I will be discussing. So coming to southern blotting. Southern blotting technique is the technique where a specific segment of the DNA is detected in whole genome and it is also also called as DNA hybridization in vitro. DNA hybridization because we are hybridizing the DNA with a probe and this is all taking place outside the cell. So this is called in vitro DNA hybridization process. So this is synonym of southern blotting. The southern blotting was devised in year 1975 by scientist Edwin Southern. where he separated the DNA and uh, fragmented the DNA only to run it on electrophoresis after which it was plotted over, over the blotting paper, nitrocellulose paper and those steps we are going to discuss now under this heading southern blotting. These are the steps of southern blotting technique. These are the steps of southern blotting technique. First of all, the DNA is extracted from the cell. Then restriction enzyme is used to cut the DNA into smaller pieces. Electrophoresis is done, denaturation by alkali, then blotting, then fixing. Then probe is used, washing is done and probe identification is done. I will be explaining you these steps one by one. So suppose this is the cell and in this nucleus is there where chromosome is there and someone is asking you to find out A C A G A C C A T T sequence in the given cell DNA whether this sequence is present or not present. The sequence is specific because this is having some mutation or polymorphism and that need to be detected. So for analyzing this sequence in this given cell by doing the southern blotting, a probe need to be prepared. In southern blotting, it is based on hybridization and to de detect a specific DNA sequence, you need to have probe. So the probe is complementary sequence of nucleotide which is prepared and this probe is having labeling of its nucleotide either with radioactive material or with fluorescent material or with certain enzymes which will help in detection of probe at the end of procedure. So in this technique first of all the DNA is being extracted from the cell and this, D this DNA is fragmented. These are double stranded DNA which are separated by a process called DNA extraction and in the next step the restriction enzyme is used which is cutting the DNA into smaller pieces based on their palindromic action and these smaller fragments of double stranded DNA are then run on electrophoresis. This is the electrophoretic gel mostly agarose gel electrophoresis is used. PH also can be used 
DNA fragments are poured in the well and they are run on electrophoresis based on their charge mass ratio. They separate and multiple bands you find on electrophoretic gel. This is then denatured. This gel is carefully kept in alkali, half normal sodium hydroxide alkali is used for denaturation purpose. So this platform, the gel is placed in the alkali. The purpose of this step is to denature the double stranded DNA and after one hour when the gel is taken out, all the fragments of the DNA are now single stranded and they are still embedded in the gel. In the next step, a nitrocellulose paper is taken and that is placed on the top of this gel and uniform pressure is applied that's called manual bl blotting or this can be kept in an electro blotting tank where all the DNA fragments will be transferred on the nitrocellulose paper and slowly the nitrocellulose paper will be peeled off and that paper is placed in oven at 80 degrees celsius that's called heat fixation so when this paper is placed in hot air oven at 80 degrees celsius for one hour all the dna fragments are adhered to the nitrocellulose paper and after this this paper is layered with the probe the excess of probe is layered all over the paper is soaked in a probe solution the probe which was complementary to the desired sequence this paper is soaked in a probe solution and after set time of incubation the washing step is needed to wash away the unbound probe excess probe unbound probe the probe which is unbound on this platform is washed away and after washing the examination is done the probe detection is done if you see this paper, this is the place where the probe is annealed. Probe is hybridized because it, it got its complementary sequence. So detection of probe is done and if the probe is there on the paper, we come to know that that desired segment is there in the given cell DNA. So this particular mutation or polymorphism is existing in that cell DNA. This is in nutshell is the blotting technique where the DNA I repeat in nutshell the DNA is separated that's called if you see the steps DNA is extracted DNA extraction is done then using the restriction enzyme they are cut into smaller pieces then electrophoresis is done where negatively charged DNA is moving towards positive electrode then based on their charge mass ratio then denaturation of DNA is done in the alkali then blotting is done this denaturation step is important because you need to use the probe to detect the DNA, desired DNA segment. And for that, you need to have single stranded DNA. After restriction enzyme, what you got was double stranded DNA. So that need to be denatured in alkali. Then blotting step is done where either manual blotting or electro blotting can be applied to transfer all the DNA fragments onto the nitrocellulose paper. Even nylon paper can be used that is better in many circumstances. Then fixing at 80 degrees Celsius can be done which will allow the DNA fragment to get stabilized on the nitrocellulose paper. And then probe layering is done. The probe may be radioactive labeled, may be enzyme labeled or may be fluorescent labeled. According to the detection technique which you already have in your lab, you can detect the, you can use the labeling for the probe. Then washing is done to wash away excess probe. Washing buffer is used for washing step. And after thorough washing, the probe is identified whether any probe is left after washing or not. So that will detect whether that desired DNA segment is there or not in the given cell uh, DNA. So this is the southern blotting technique and this was dealing with the DNA and later came the technique where RNA was being dealt in a similar method where RNA was run on electrophoresis, was blotted over and was detected. So that was called the northern blotting technique and uh, 
If you can see, this is the southern blotting technique, beautifully explained in this diagram. Genomic DNA, and you can see restriction enzyme, cutting it into smaller pieces, then electrophoresis done. And after this, the blotting is done, then probe layering is done, then detection of probe is done. That is what I told you those steps coming to northern blotting in northern blotting similar steps are used and uh, in this the starting sample is the RNA which is electrophorosed and then blotted over probe is identifying the desired RNA so this is how northern, northern blotting is done the application of southern blotting southern blotting is a basic technology which is being used for polymorphism analysis to detect the polymorphism to detect the mutation so in preparation of dna fingerprinting film dna fingerprinting film or for doing the rflp we need to do this southern blotting technique the probe may or may not be required in southern blotting. Suppose if any mutation or polymorphism is changing the restriction into nucleoside, that will change the fragment of the DNA which is produced after action of restriction enzyme. So that time probe may not be desired. Direct visualization of the band itself may detect the corresponding mutation or polymorphism. But suppose if the mutation or polymorphism has got nothing to do with the restriction site, that time the desired probe is needed, complementary probe is needed to detect that specific sequence which need to be detected in the given DNA. In northern blotting, the similar steps are there, but the starting material is RNA and southern blotting is being used to detect gene expression. It's a gene expression analysis. More the amount of gene expression is there, more the amount of mRNA will be there. So that mRNA is quantified in this technique. It's separated on electrophoretic plate, then blotted over and with the help of probe, the quantification is done. These are the places where the probe is binding. So more amount of RNA is there. If less amount of probe is binding, then less amount of RNA is there. So that in nutshell detect the gene expression, the amount of probe remaining at the end of blotting technique in northern blotting denotes you the quantity of gene expression because that denotes the quantity of mRNA which is there in that particular cell. It's a real-time expression, real-time gene expression, real-time gene expression analysis. Suppose a cell is given to you and someone is asking, find out the expression of gene X at this moment of time. So whatever uh, mRNA produced by gene X is analyzed and that is being quantified, that tells you about the gene expression in real time. So gene expression, overexpression, gene underexpression, gene separation, everything can be detected by this northern blotting technique. Single gene expression analysis can be done at a time and this is the biggest limitation of northern blotting technique. In western blotting technique, the proteins are being dealt with. Western blotting technique is based on antigen-antibody interaction. This is also called immunoblotting. In this, a particular antigen or antibody is detected in patient fluid, patient serum, patient plasma. In this, the antigens are separated and then antibodies are placed. After allowing antigen-antibody interaction, the band is seen. If the immune complex is developed, the band is seen. So this technique is detecting the presence or absence of any antigen or antibody in the given biological fluid. This is important to detect any infection 
you know, patient because if infection is there, the antibody will be developing and that antibody can be detected by Western blotting technique. Direct antigen detection can also be done when the uh, blotting platform is having the in integrated antibody in it. Now, Southern Western blotting technique, I'll sensitize you about this technique. Southern Western blotting technique. In this technique, the DNA protein interaction is being studied. DNA protein interaction is being studied. Suppose this is a cell and one new protein is detected in this cell. That protein need to be studied for its purpose in the cell. So this protein is plotted on the plot paper. This is the protein and the suspected DNA fragment where this protein may have the binding tendency is used as a probe. So suppose this is the DNA fragment which is supposed to bind with suspected this new protein. This DNA fragment is used as a probe and it is layered all over. And after washing, if the DNA stays on this plot paper, it means that this protein is having binding tendency with this DNA. So this is Southern Western blotting technique, which I have just primed you about it, that how it is used to detect the DNA binding characteristic of certain protein, the function of which is not known. Thank you very much. So in nutshell, Southern blotting, northern blotting, western blotting and southern western blotting I have told you in nutshell and the basic principle is all same. You have to separate them, you have to separate the DNA, RNA or protein and then you have to fix them on a particular platform where they are being studied for their presence or for their specific sequences. Thank you. For more such videos, you can subscribe channel on YouTube. Thank you very much.